back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video because it has been so highly requested. Before I get into this video, I know you guys are going to be asking me non-stop in the comments below. The lip that I'm wearing is one called Tangerine and it is by a brand called Kitten Cosmetics. I don't know what I was going for, but anyway. Today I'm actually really freaking excited for this video because I've never really done this type of a video and it's kind of, it's kind of an important one. I am really into my wigs. I really like wearing them mainly because I damage my hair senseless. I like to kind of change it out and, you know, become a completely different person practically every single day. However, the process of actually purchasing a wig can be kind of daunting and a bit like, ooh, to anyone who really isn't into the whole wig world, wig aspect, whatever. The concept of lace fronts and baby hairs and hair density and... All of that can be just a tad confusing to anyone who doesn't know. Today is going to be that video. I'm going to show you how to actually purchase a wig made for you. Every wig that you buy has to be custom to you and your head and your face and your own specifications. So I actually went and I purchased a wig. But before I show you this thing, I'm actually going to show you how to buy a wig and all the fancy things that come with it. Enjoy! Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you how to order a wig and the entire process that kind of goes into um, your selection and all your preferences. So let's start! I'm going to be using Perfect Lace Wigs. It is my absolute favorite wig brand because I think that it is really good quality wise and they have a really incredible selection of wigs that I'm obsessed with. I really like this one. So it's a pre-plugged brown color. I think it looks really nice. And I'm gonna buy it with you today. Here's how it looks. It is a 360 lace wig. It is $84, which is pretty okay for a human haired wig. Obviously some wigs will cost more, but you have to keep in mind that anything that is pricier is typically much better made. There is a lot more time into it and whatnot. So yes, but this is still a pretty good price for such a wig. So it is a human Brazilian virgin hair 360 lace wig, which basically like tells you the ethnicity of the hair, where it was sourced. The style is silky straight, which means when you wash it and you dry it and everything, it'll dry straight. Obviously you can curl it, you can cut it, you can style it, do whatever it is human hair. It is 180% dense. This is actually what there is in the picture, but you can actually change most of these over here. For hair length, I actually don't want 24 inches because I personally don't like really, really long hair. My preference is around 18 inches. Obviously, the longer you go, the more pricey it becomes, but then again, you're paying for someone's actual length. Hair density, many people get confused about this. Typical hair is around like 120% as I would like to think of it. Some people really like volume, really like thickness. I'm not that big of a fan, so I'm actually gonna go for 150. That's another $15 add-on, but this basically refers to the amount of hair that there is actually put into the lace. Cap size is really important when you're selecting your wig because it indicates how big the lace is going to be. I'm a size small. However, if you go down right over here, it literally tells you how to measure it. Please do this before ordering your wig. It's very important because it's going to basically dictate how the wig is going to lay on your head. If you get it a size too small or a size too big, you're gonna either have a lack of lace and it's going to be really tight on your head. If you get it too big, there's gonna be too much much lace and it's going to get all like warped and bubbly and it won't fit well. Lace color is going to depend on your skin tone. I prefer transparent. However, I don't feel like waiting 28 days. So we're going to go for light brown. If you are very, very light, I definitely recommend going for transparent. I really love baby hair and I especially love them on the perfect lace wigs. Although some people prefer it without if you're going for like a really slick look or whatever, but I really like it with baby hair and parting. I'm going to do three parts so that it gives me like the most versatility and flexibility. I would always recommend an elastic band at the back because it would add tension to the wig and it could fit better. This is my total, $178, which is still, still a really good price for a human haired wig. So I'm going to buy it now. This is all the details laid out over here. Basically, I'm gonna get back when the wig has been shipped and I've received it and I'm gonna show you how I uh, 
put it on and how it looks and everything. So yeah. Ta-da! My wig is here. That was the process of when I originally bought the actual thing. It cost me $178. I um, forgot sh how much shipping was. Really did not take long, I'm going to admit. It is by Perfect Lace Wigs. I have worked with Perfect Lace Wigs a tons of times uh, before, but in this case, I went through the entire specifications with you guys. I think it took two weeks, two and a half weeks. I really don't know. On some of the uh, uh, details, it did say, like for instance, if you want transparent lace, it's an additional 28 days. So that really depends on um, kind of what you go for but typically I think they would take around that long of course depending on where you live this is how it comes I really like the perfect lace packaging because it's really clean it's easy it's not going to be overwhelming you know you do get a bunch of things in here also get your leaflet which has all your wig specifications on it on the side over here length which i went for 18 inches i went for 150 percent density light brown color and a cap size small you also have a wig cap right over here that we're going to use here is the elastic band that i ordered i have noticed that sometimes the elastic band comes pre-attached to the wig sometimes it comes separate i'm going to show you how to put that on regardless so this is our wig this is the color i think it's really cute i don't really have many like light brown wigs so i really like that i have this although i do have one pretty similar to it i now realized i dyed one pretty similar it's funny hair is ridiculously soft it's got a layered cut to it so the ends kind of taper to a point which is really good it gives a really nice natural finish it's got this in here this is in here to keep the shape of the lace and the wig comes with a full round lace so this is a wefted wig which means you can kind of see that over here it's all lace but over here there's a fabric and all of these lines over here are the tracks being sewn onto this fabric um you would get these tracks or whatever so the first thing i'm going to start by doing is cutting off this excess lace this is here so you can customize it to your own head shape to your own ear shape you can leave as much as you want on it you can pluck it i've done many videos like this so i'm just gonna quickly run through this whole I always start cutting my wig right at this point over here. This is basically where the two laces meet. And this is always usually at the base of where your ears are. So then you'd cut inwards and then this would start and become your hairline. Now I'm going to just cut a semicircle in where I know my ear is going to be. I've done this part a million and one times, so I'm not even going to try on this wig beforehand. But if you haven't done that, try on this wig. See where your ear kind of hits or where the wig hits your ear and then cut it I cut off all the lace even around the back over here I really don't fuss because guess what it's not going to show now I'm going to attach the elastic band so it comes like this basically it's exactly the same mechanism as a bra strap I'm going to put it on the tightest setting and then you just clasp these two ends onto the wig. And it just adds tension to the wig and secures it further to your head. So I got these little thingies that are even more like a bra strap mechanism. And we're just going to hook them. Okay. And now we have an elastic band on our wig. I'm very quickly going to uh, put on my wig cap and start preparing to glue the wig to my head. A lot of people like to actually glue their wig cap onto their scalp and actually cut it out to the shape of their hairline. I really do not like doing that because A, I like to reuse my wig cap and B, this wig is coming off in a few hours anyway. So this is good for now. If your hair is longer, ideally continue wrapping it around and smoothing it down as much as possible. Avoid having like a big bunch of hair at the nape of your neck because that is just going to make the wig look super bulky. Hmm. 
Hello! Um, as you can see, this is the light brown lace. It is obviously still too dark for my skin tone. Ideally, I would have gone for a transparent lace, but I was impatient. Now I'm going to proceed to glue down my wig. This step is, of course, optional, but if you obviously wanted to make it look as realistic as possible, this is a step you wouldn't skip. I clip back my hairline a bit of this all over the hairline i try to avoid putting it on my hair because it just makes it a bit harder to remove otherwise i have this lying ready for when i lay my wig So we're just going to take this and I'm using this as a fabric to lay down my wig. I don't know. I'm going to let it set probably for around 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll be back to kind of show you what else I do. Once the glue has set, I proceed to remove the fabric, comb out my hair and then get about styling this wig. I opted for a quite a heavy side part. I don't usually like this style on me, but I decided that it looked pretty good with this wig and color and style. I really liked the way this wig turned out. It was a brilliant, beautiful wig to work with. And as you can see, the process of making it work and ordering it and everything really wasn't that difficult. I really hope this video could have been of help to you. I know sometimes it can be quite daunting and shocking to any newcomers. So hopefully this put into perspective what the process is like. As I said, this wig was by Perfect Lace Wigs. It is a beautiful, beautiful wig and I really enjoyed working with it. I will put this exact wig down description box below as well as all its details and everything i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you'll give it a go and i will see you in my next video